Hello, this is Wiley from Learn to Barbecue. This is another video featuring the GoSun Sport Solar Cooker, and this time we are cooking half inch thick pork chops with the bone. Now let me go step by step through this cook. The meat is three half inch thick pork chops that have a total weight of 1.49 pounds or one and a half pounds. The cooking tray for the Ghost Sun Sport is long and narrow, and this is going to require us to cut the pork chops in half. Now these pork chops still have the loin rib bone. For that reason, we need to cut the chop in half and that it parallels with the rib bone. So you can see they're about the same size, but only one side has the rib bone. When we are all done, we will have six steaks, three with rib bones and three without. This is enough meat to easily feed two to three people. Now it's time to get the cooking tray for the Go Sun Sport. The tray is stainless steel, but you still need a little cooking oil so the chops do not stick. Now you want to put all six pieces of meat evenly into the cooking tray. You actually want no space between the steaks, for they will cook better that way. A big advantage is you never have to turn the food over, for the radiant heat surrounds the meat cook it in evenly on all sides. You just put the food in the tray and when the food reaches temperature it is done. Best to make sure the food is all the way into the tray. The next is to add your seasoning and I'm using one of my favorites for pork and that is adobo seasoning. I am a firm believer in never cook based on time, but always cook based on temperature. I will be using the Fireboard Smart Thermometer, and here I am inserting one of the needle temperature probes. You want to make sure you are in the middle of the tray and also in the center of the meat. Make sure the probe wire comes through the vent hole at the top of the tray seal. You should now be ready to insert the food tray into the solar cooker. Now it is off to the front porch and time to start cooking. You want to make sure the cooker is facing directly into the sun. You can see by the shadow that we are perfectly aligned. You can also see there are a lot of clouds and the outside temperature was only 54 degrees Fahrenheit. So it was not a really warm day. So here is our fireboard chart. The temperature we wanted to be done was 145 degrees Fahrenheit. The total cooking time took 54 minutes. So how did it come out? First, the chop smelled great, and the cooking tray was really, really hot. Chops were very moist, and when I cut through them, they were very tender. They were also cooked all the way through. As I cut each piece, they were neither overcooked or undercooked just all the same. Now the most important test. How do they taste? They were actually too hot to eat, so I waited a few seconds before trying my first piece. My first piece was very moist and tender and had that great adobo taste. The second piece was just as great as the first. 
I was extremely impressed with how well this solar cooker prepared these pork chops. One big thumbs up. Well, one more taste. Well, how about two thumbs up? Bon appetit. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Also, we really appreciate you watching.